Hi, this is Anna Collins of Anna Collins Nutrition, and today I want to share the 478 breathing technique with you. This is a breathing technique that all of my patients that I've shown this to have found really, really useful and really beneficial, and they feel an effect instantly. So what this exercise does is it stimulates your vagus nerve and your vagus nerve is a big nerve that connects your brain to your whole digestive system. It's sort of the information superhighway. So the brain instructions to your digestive system get passed on through this nerve and it tells your stomach when to make acid to digest your food. It tells your gallbladder when to pump out digestive enzymes and fat busting bile salts. It tells the valves in your digestive system when to open and close. It tells your bowel how quickly to move or how slowly to move. So the vagus nerve is really, really important for digestion. And certain things can impair the vagus nerve. If somebody has very nu poor nutrition, then that can impact the health of the nerve. But chronic stress, emotional trauma, or uh, head injuries or spinal injuries can also impair how well your vagus nerve works. Activating your vagus nerve with this breathing technique helps flip your body into rest and digest mode. So if you're in stress mode or fight or flight, feeling under pressure, and you do this exercise, it flips you into healing, resting and digesting mode. It's great for calming down stress. This exercise helps get you back into balance within minutes. And it's also really useful for helping you get off to sleep or for calming a, a, a racing mind, or if you're feeling anxious or stressed, you can do it. 478 breathing is really easy, it's very fast, and it's very, very powerful, and you can do it anywhere. When you're learning this, this technique, it's best to learn it sitting up with your back straight, but when you practice it, you can practice it in any position, even lying down if you prefer. So what you do is you place the tip of your tongue against the ridge of tissue just behind your upper front teeth, up here like this. And you keep it there during the whole exercise. You're gonna be breathing out through your mouth around your tongue. Try pursing your lips slightly if this seems awkward and it'll take you a few breaths to get the hang of this. So what you do is you exhale completely through your mouth, making a whooshing sound. Close your mouth, place your tongue behind on the ridge of tissue behind your teeth and inhale quietly through your nose to a count of four. Hold your breath for a count of seven and then breathe out completely through your mouth, making a whooshing sound to a count of eight. So it's in for four, hold for seven, out for eight. And that is one breath. Now you breathe in again and repeat the cycle three times for a total of four breaths. And do this four breath session for one month at least three times a day. So I'm gonna show it to you now I'm going to do the four, seven, eight cycle. So that was one cycle where I was breathing out, placing my tongue on the ridge of tissue behind my upper front teeth, breathing in for four, holding for seven, and breathing out through my mouth for a count of eight. And I do that three more times to give a four breath session. Do this four breath session three times a day minimum for one month. And then after that, you can build up to an eight breath session. But it's a good idea not to do more than eight breaths because if you do more than eight breaths, you could end up feeling a little bit dizzy or discombobulated. You always inhale quietly through your nose and exhale loudly through your mouth. The tip of your tongue stays in position during the whole process and breathing out takes twice as long as breathing in. And the absolute time you spend on each phase isn't important. The only thing that's important is that it's a four, seven, eight ratio. Breathe in for four, hold to seven, out for eight. And if you've trouble holding your breath, speed the exercise up, but keep the ratio to four, seven, eight with the three phases. With practice, you can slow it all down and get used to inhaling and exhaling breathing in and breathing out more and more deeply. So that's it. Hope you find this really, really helpful. Thanks for listening and I'll talk to you soon.